Hey guys, welcome once again. Till now we have seen how we can create our first Nest.js project and we have seen a broad overview of our Nest.js project. Now we want to add some endpoints to our REST API. So what my plan is, let me show you uh, the API uh, documentation which I want to implement. So uh, our API name will be car manager API, which will be able to add a car or read all the car information or read full data of an individual car, or it's going to uh, delete a car or it's going to uh, update a single car. And these are the routes or endpoints which I have defined. So we are going to define a get cars route and then we are going to define uh, post car, uh, get car by ID, put car by ID and delete car by ID. So this is uh, what we are going to do. And by the way, you can also create this kind of uh, swagger documentation using your Nest JS uh, framework. But this is not the part of uh, this demonstration. I just created this Swagger documentation separately for uh, this demonstration, but uh, I'm not going to show you how you can create this using Nest.js. So let's get started. So because we have already downloaded the Nest.js CLI, we are going to use the Nest.js CLI to create our module, service and controller. So uh, the good thing about Nest CLI is we can create our module or service or controller or it can do many other things automatically so you don't need to uh, write your uh, modules or classes or uh, uh, TypeScript files uh, from the scratch, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to generate a module, a controller and the service for the car. So as you can see, uh, these were the files which are automatically generated for us. We are going to remove all these files once we have generated our car uh, module controller and service and we are going to use that because we don't want to uh, just send hello world for example and this uh, route is not even uh, required in our API right. So process of creating the module controller and service is really uh, simple using nest CLI you just need to write uh, nest and then you just need to give this flag G or you can uh, just write uh, generate here in the short form you can just write uh, G and then you write what you want to create right so for example first of all we are going to create a module so I'm going to just write module here and then give the name of your module so we are going to create a car module so I'm going to just write car here okay so nest generate and uh, the name uh, of uh, the component you want to generate and then the actual component name which you want to generate just press enter which is going to create a new module for you so when nest.js create a module or controller or a service is going to create a folder with the same name which you have given here so we have created the car module and inside this uh, we have this car.module.ts file right now as I already mentioned uh, this uh, at the rate module is the decorator if you want to create this car module from the scratch you can uh, simply create this without using uh, this uh, CLI also you just need to add this uh, module decorator on top of your uh, module class name and this module is present in the nest.js common package right so just write nest g controller and the name of your controller and then press enter and it's going to create a new controller for you so here you can see this controller is created for us and you can see for the controller you need to add this decorator controller and then you need uh, to add the route 
which you want to add to your uh, controller. So we want this sub route which is car. As you can see all our, our route have car, 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 car. We are going to create the get car route also. We are not going to create extra cars module or controller. Uh, I decided that uh, we are going to just create uh, car uh, route here not cars right. So keep this in mind. Uh, and now we are going to create a new service for our car. So here you just need to write service. So nest g service car and it's going to create a new uh, car service for you. Okay. So we have generated the module controller and the service uh, uh, TS files. Also two extra files are created for the unit test car.service.spec.ts which is the unit test file for the service uh, uh, .ts file and you also have this car.controller.spec.ts this is the unit test file for your car.controller.ts file right. So now you will also observe that in your main module so when you go to uh, the main module you will see here that under the imports element there is a new mapping which is added uh, here which is cars module and this code is also auto generated right. So if you are creating your controller or module or uh, your service manually without this command line you just need to add your module which you have created uh, and you just need to import it under your main app.module.ts file right and now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the controller and provider which is the main app controller and main app service provider because we don't want uh, this we just want the car module car controller and uh, uh, car service right so I can just remove uh, this controller from here and this uh, provider from here and remove these imports now let's go to the car.module.ts. So I'm going to go to the car.module.ts uh, uh, here and you will see that inside this module we have imported the car service and the car controller. Okay. So these files are also automatically generated and we have added the decorator here as I mentioned earlier. And then under controller, we are going to add all the controllers. In our case, we only have one controller, which is car controller. And under provider, we are going to add all the uh, services, right? So we only have car service right now. And we are going to just export this uh, module. And this is the same module which we are importing in the app.module.ts file, which is this one, right? Also, we don't need this main app.service.ts file because we have removed uh, this dependency. So I can just right click and delete this uh, service file. Also, we can delete this uh, controller also, right? So I'm going to right click and delete the controller for the main app and then app.controller.spec.ts file also I'm going to remove, right? So now we only have the car controller, car module and car service and unit test files for that and we have this app.module.ts where we are just importing our car module and in the main.ts we are just importing our main module and we are just uh, starting our uh, application on the port 3000. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, clear this terminal and I'm going to uh, just uh, transpile my TypeScript file to see if everything is uh, uh, working correctly or not. So I'm going to just write npm run build here and once uh, all the files are built successfully and if I don't see any error we can move forward. So as you can see there is no error in transpilation so we can move forward. So what we are going to do is we are going to start from the controller here. So let's create uh, some of the endpoints uh, in this controller. So the first thing which we uh, need to add to the controller 
is the service so we are going to inject the service which is the car service into our car controller so i'm going to just uh, create a constructor here and inside this constructor we are going to just uh, inject our service uh, which is the car service so first let me just import the car service in car controller so i'm going to just write import and then i'm going to just import the car service which we have already generated right so I'll just write dot forward slash and then car dot service right so once we have imported this car service you just need to add the car service uh, name also here and because we have provided the same name here car service right so we are importing this uh, inside our controller and now we are going to just inject this service instance in the constructor and now we are going to just inject this car service instance into our uh, controller constructor right so i'm going to just uh, name it as uh, car service and also i'm going to remove this space from here so once again i'm going to go to my car.service.ts uh, file and you can see in the service we have included this at the rate injectable decorator so whenever you create a car a service or any service manually you need to add this at the rate injectable decorator on top of your service right and that makes your service injectable and that's how nest.js is going to recognize that this service is injectable so we can inject this service inside the constructor of the controller right now we are going to create some of the endpoint methods for our car controller so the first method will be get cars let's say so i'm going to just uh, make this method async uh, method and let's say that method name will be get uh, cars and in the body of uh, this uh, method we are going to just call our service instance for now so car service this dot car service and we are going to create different methods uh, later in the car service also and we are going to name uh, this method same which will be car uh, get cars so this method we, we are going to create in a moment in the service uh, and also because this is an async await method so you can uh, just uh, write uh, return here if you uh, are not returning anything then you can also just uh, write return without await here i'm sure you know uh, this concept from before also right and then we are going to provide a new decorator and this decorator name will be get so at the rate get here you just need to add get here and you just need to import get uh, from your nest just common uh, package also so you can see get is here and we are adding this uh, get decorator here and you just need to add these parentheses here and inside these parentheses you can provide any uh, sub route so if you want to get the car by id you can uh, just write id here or whatever routes you want to add here right so for now we just want to uh, add the get method so when you just add this empty uh, get method this means that uh, you are just calling the get method on this car route right so let's add this get cars in your service file also so i'm going to go to car.service.ts file and here i'm going to add the public method which will be uh, async await method and i'm going to name it as get cards and in the body what i want to do is i want to return something for now i'm going to return empty uh, object from here 
Now we also need uh, some kind of uh, mock data for the cards. So I'm going to create a new uh, file here and I'm going to name uh, this file as uh, cars.mock.ts file. Okay. So here in this mock file, what I want to do is I want to uh, return some kind of uh, dummy car object array, right? So I'm going to just uh, export const cars is equal to then some kind of dummy data which I already have. So I want to uh, add one uh, uh, object to my array uh, which will be already available. So this uh, array will be a mock array which is going to return uh, uh, this one uh, object which is already present here and uh, the other object we are going to uh, add dynamically to our array when some request comes right. So what we have done till now we have added this get cars into our service and into our controller right and we are just calling or returning the get cars uh, method from the car service inside your uh, controller also inside this get cars method so inside the cars dot service we are going to import our mock also so let's import our uh, mock which we have created which uh, have the name cars here and we are going to import it from the mock file which we have created and now uh, we can use this cars object which is our mock data inside our uh, uh, car service. So I'm going to just uh, write private and then uh, cars here which will be equal to this cars which and then we can return uh, this uh, dot cars uh, from the get cars method right. So now we have uh, just uh, finished first uh, endpoint and uh, we can test our endpoint by just running npm start command. And once your application is running, I'm going to uh, just open my postman and then I will just uh, write http colon forward slash localhost 1000, which is the port on which our application is running. And then I'm going to just uh, give this uh, endpoint, which is car here. So essentially we are just sending get car uh, request to our application. Okay. Let's uh, send this data and you can see it sends us uh, this kind of data, which is sent using this get cars method, which is uh, there inside your service. And we are just returning the mock, which we have just created, which is uh, this one right and first of all this request reaches to your controller and it sees that your uh, base uh, route is car here and here we haven't added any sub route so that means we are just uh, responding to the car uh, get car request using this get cars method so I think that's it for this video in the next video we are going to add uh, all the other uh, routes or endpoints to our NestJS uh, RESTful API. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.